It sounds easy enough, doesn't it? Develop a product, then launch it as a WSO. Just two steps and it couldn't be easier. Well, obviously it's not like that. Even once you've got a product created, the complexities of scheduling all the milestones and activities and checklists and their complex interdependencies leading up to a launch can be a real nightmare. So I created the WSO Launch Scheduler to stop those nightmares dead in their tracks. And it works like this. The convention, as with all the worksheets in the WSO Success Planner, is that you enter or amend information in the white cells and the results appear in the yellow cells. Now, there are two types of things here. There are milestones and activity lists. And for a milestone, you specify the number of days before or after a particular date that you want the milestone to be at. And what you can specify is before or after the launch or before or after the JV announcement, because those are the two key dates that you need to care about. And in this particular case, I've said that the main product completed milestone has to be five days before the JV announcement and that turns out to be the 15th of June which is a Friday. I can change that and make that say 10 days before so I just change the number of days before in this cell and the start date automatically changes there. For an activity list such as get conversion stats the same thing applies except now I can also state how long this should take so I'm saying that getting conversion stats is going to be spread over five days, that's that cell there, starting five days before the JV announcement. Again, the system calculates the start date, but in this case it also tells me the end date. And I can see here that the end date for get conversion stats is the 19th of June, which is in fact the day before the JV announcement, which is exactly what I wanted. And of course, I can change any of those figures. I can change that to be seven days if I want the conversion stats to take uh, longer and the start date then becomes the 15th of June. The other thing about activity lists of course is that they have activities. These are the activities that need to be formed during the course of that time period. You can also regard these as checklists in some cases. What drives the whole worksheet is the launch date and in fact this is the only date that you can change directly. And when you do, all the other dates change automatically. So, for example, if I were to change that to the 30th of July, you can see all the other related dates are now automatically being updated. The other key date, as I said, is the JV announcement. And this always has to be specified in relation to the launch date, so I can't change that. And in this case, I'm saying it's going to start 14 days before the launch and I can change that and say I wanted to start 21 days before the launch and again all the figures get updated that are related to the launch date so now the date for my main product to be completed is the 29th of June having made all those changes. So the spreadsheet comes with a fairly comprehensive list of milestones and activity lists and tasks I'm not saying it's complete of course and everybody will have their own variations of that. And those variations may well change from launch to launch. For example, let's say I wanted to have an early bird discount offer. I could add in some extra steps here. So I could say copy this. Just using the normal Excel facilities. Create a new entry. And then say set up early bird announcement or maybe I wanted that to be more of a, of a more complete set of activity an activity list with its own activities so perhaps I could then copy the whole of that again using the normal Excel facilities I copy that and let's say I'm going to call that early bird and that's something that's going to be uh, it's going to last three days and I want it to start three days before the launch so that's going to start on the 27th and uh, just put in the task to set that up so that would be create WSO thread mail list etc. 
So anyone can modify the the tasks and the activities and the milestones to make this launch scheduler suit their specific needs for each specific project. Finally, there's two other little facilities to show you about this. Uh, you can hide the details. So up here, there's a little one and the two. If you click on the one, it hides all the task details and just shows the, the milestone and activity names. And again, you, you get all the dates in a lovely succinct compact form and click on the two they get displayed again and also as a convenient way of keeping track of what you've done you can tick off the activities as, as you've done them or if you want to tick off a whole activity list all in one go you can do that so what you get with the launch scheduler is a comprehensive set of milestones and activity lists and checklists a way of keeping track of them all and listing the dependencies and the date dependencies between them but also all this comes in a way which allows you to modify it and configuring it and configure it to suit your own needs and to change it as you learn and evolve your own processes for WSO launches so I think you'll agree this is a hugely valuable tool to take a lot of the stress out of launching WSOs. The other module is the price modeler and there's a lovely little video about that so have a read of the rest of the web page and take a look at that video. Thanks very much.